Inside this box is the Orter Laser Master 3 10 watt engraving and cutting machine. Whatever. But is it any good? Is it powerful? But most importantly, is it the right laser machine for you? There are so many different kinds of lasers on the market, but how do you know which one you need to choose? A lot of these machines look identical. The only thing they do is change the color and change the name. Sheer genius. I mean, where did you come up with a scale like that? But seriously, as I look at this machine, I'm going to talk about the setup, the quality, the safety, the hardware, the speed, and finally, the software. These things are very important considerations when choosing the right laser for you. Now, on the box here, it says safe, high speed, and easy to use. Now, I'm going to test those assertions plus a few others. First, we're going to talk about safety. It's interesting that it says safe on this side of the box, but on the other side of the box, it says cancer and reproductive harm. These two labels are a contradiction in terms. Usually this label is applied to chemicals, so I'm not sure exactly why it's here. I'm guessing it's because of the laser. But this unit does come with safety goggles to protect your eyes when you're looking at the laser. As for this label, like most warning labels, they can often be needlessly alarming. Now, let's talk about the setup of this machine. That was easy. Seriously though, it is actually pretty easy setting this machine up. The instruction manual is not great, but it's good enough to figure out how to set this thing up in about an hour or less. Thirdly, let's talk about the hardware. This thing is made of solid, sturdy aluminum. It just feels well constructed. Everything fit together nicely. On the bottom, there's three belts that control the X and the Y axes. But let me show you something about this hardware that I don't like. Right over here, these buttons. This is the on-off button. This is the on-off key switch, which overrides the on-off button. With the key switch in the on position, you can't just quickly press the button. You have to hold it for three seconds. This is the emergency stop button, which is fairly easy to accidentally press. In my opinion, just get rid of all this hardware and replace it with a single on-off toggle switch Mount it here on the side so you don't accidentally turn this thing off. In fact, that's exactly how the design is on the X-Tool D1 Pro Laser, which I think is a much better way to do it. I do need to mention one hardware problem that I had with this machine. This key switch right here. When I got the unit, it would only turn on intermittently. It was driving me crazy. I contacted the company to get a replacement switch, but they happened to be on Chinese New Year, and it took me three weeks to get a replacement part. Next, let's discuss speed. If you're a beginner, speed doesn't matter that much. You really don't know what to expect, but if you're going to use this for a business, speed is obviously very important. The speed of this unit here is 20,000 millimeters per minute. Now, that might not mean much to you, but for a 10-watt laser, that's pretty good. It's nice to know the speeds of something if you're going to be doing some comparison shopping. So just like a computer, how fast does it work? Some laser machines are slower, some are faster. And if you get one with a more powerful laser head like 20 or 40 watts, it's even going to be faster. But this machine here, the fastest it comes with is the 10 watt, at least as of the making of this video. Lastly, I want to talk about the software. This machine is basically a computer, but unlike your phone or a physical computer, this doesn't have any operating system on it. It's dumb. It has to get its instructions from somewhere, which would be a phone app or a physical computer, which could be a Windows computer or a Mac. Now, this laser comes with an app called Laser Explorer. The Laser Explorer program for your phone is very basic and limited in what you can use it for. I tried it. I didn't like it. To me, it's only practical for a quick, simple engraving if you don't have a computer handy. With the app, you can cut and make puzzles of different sizes, print text, import and engrave pictures like this handsome guy. But for the computer software now, you've got two choices, Lightburn or Laser GRBL, also called Laser Gerbil. Now if you have a Mac, or an Apple computer, you only have one choice, and that's Lightburn, which comes with a 30-day free trial, and after that, you gotta pay a $60 license. 
Now, Lightburn program is not that easy of a program to use if you're an absolute beginner, despite what other people might tell you. I wish that these laser companies created their own software for their own machine. There is one company that does this, Xtool D1 Pro. I reviewed this last December. Now, it comes with a program called Creative Space. I loved it. It was easy to use and easy to learn. If you've ever used the Cricut vinyl cutting machine, the creative software on that machine is very similar. I find it very intuitive, and I wish that the Orter laser had the same thing. So far, I've talked to you about the setup, the quality, the safety, the hardware, the speed, and the software. Now, I'm gonna briefly talk about some add-on accessories. There's five you might wanna consider right out of the gate. You're gonna need a metal base to put under your material. Orter's brand is 110 bucks. An air assist pump, which plugs into the laser head, that's 130. A rotary tool for 100 bucks, that's if you wanna do round objects. Foldable feet to raise up your machine, but if you ask me, that should come standard with the machine. Lastly, you're gonna need an enclosure to pump out all the smoke and smell that this thing produces. All these things add up, and just the accessories I mentioned, that's 580 bucks, so keep that in mind before you think that you really need one of these machines. Let me recap. Oh, speaking of caps, if you want a cool cap just like mine, go to www.simpletoncreation.com. Pick one up at a good price. You can look great, and then you can be almost as cool as me. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, the pros and cons of this machine. The pros, good quality, good price. Overall, it's a good machine. The cons, too many buttons and switches. It's got a mediocre phone app and third-party software is required. By the way, if you wanna see 11 cool things that you can make with a laser engraving machine, check out this video. It's got over 120,000 views. You don't wanna be the only person who hasn't seen it. Do you? Okie dokie. I'm Tom. This is Allie Picked. Thanks for watching.